This is part of a motorbike engine, it's a, a side casing and what's happened it looks like the chain's come off or the chain's been run slack and it's worn away all that material there and I need to build it up. And the way I do these is I make a copper backing piece, it's a piece of copper in there and the copper has a much higher melting point than the aluminium and the aluminium doesn't stick to the copper so you can lay a weld in there and build it up quite nicely. Some of these weld well, some don't weld at all, it depends on the aluminium, it's just the look of the draw. Normally the older they are, the better the quality of the aluminium. Anyway, I'm going to try and bring the camera in and get some arc shots of welding this up. There's a piece missing off there as well, I'm not quite sure what that should look like. There's a control cable goes in there. So what I might do is put a piece of flat copper on there and just so I can build that up. Like I say, depending on how well it actually welds. Um, and there's only one way to find out how it's going to weld. That's the welded. So that's built up, not too bad. And basically now it's the lad who owns it, it's his job to file it back to shape. To take the With a, in fact, I think I probably will grow that and blend it in a little bit more on the on the inside. The problem with well, these sort of jobs is knowing when to stop. But I think I can improve it a little bit by just gently blending that in. Right, that's built up not too badly at all. Just cut my former out. So we've built a 
the piece on there can be fine and sanded in shape. So basically that casting's been salvaged. I've welded better and I've certainly tried to weld worse. Like I say, medium grade shade. These are the settings that I've used to weld that casting on. This is an Artec 260 ACDC inverter J welder. The main amps are set at 130, but I was using a foot pedal. I probably didn't use anywhere near 130 amps once it started to melt. We'll start at the beginning. Pre flow, I don't need any pre flow gas because I'm using a pedal. 25 amp starting just to give a nice fast start. Main welding amps, like I've said, 130. AC balance, 33%. Frequency, 70. This does go to 250, but 70 is normally enough on castings. No down slope. End amps as low as it'll go. In post flow gas, that's gas that comes out when you finish welding. Nine seconds just to keep the tungsten nice and clean. This is the end casing that we've just welded up. I'm going to machine that one flat. So this is a, an engine casing that I did last week. There was a big lump missing out of there. And you can see I've built it up exactly the same method by Leon Aluminium against the copper backer. There's also some bits of damage here. I'm not going to machine this one. Uh, that really one's slapping on a big like a surface plate with a big sheet of emery tape on is the best way to do that because the fit between the two crank aces is critical. But this one here, I think that's just a clutch basket goes in there, so I'll be able to machine that one nice and flat for him. I think what I'll do, I'll clamp it down on there and machine that one face. It's well held together, so I don't think it's going to cause any damage. It's just an outer case, and it's not like a, it's not a crank case. It's just an outer, outer cover. So we'll put a decent clamp on, throw that hole there, and then just fly cut the the face flat. That dowels protruding, so we'll have to keep away from that. Yeah, it's going to work out fine. That the big washer on there. And that'll clamp that down very nicely indeed. This part here, I've left plenty of metal on that can be done with a, like a die grinder. The lot the runs it can do all that. I'm going to take the thickest off with a big mill and cutter. A lot more. Practical than a fly cut that to remove as much material. So that's basically that whole face now, nice and flat. A little bit of hand work, blending that will be absolutely spot on. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes and kind words that keep coming in. Anyway, thanks for watching.